Right, welcome back to Sunday Sport. I do have in studio with me still Samiki with Klabanisa. I didn't even greet you this evening. I'm still sulking because of, of, of sundowns, but it's fine. We're not going to uh, talk about that. We're going to move over to this German Bundesliga team. Armenia Bielefeld is conducting coaching clinics with South Africans virtually former player and now youth director Finn Halsing joins us via Zoom to chat more about this. Finn, good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Um, how do these uh, coaching clinics and um, scoutings benefit South African players, especially given that our development program, you know, always becomes a topic um, and into question when Bafana Bafana fails? Yeah, thank you, first of all, for, um, for the invitation and the honor for me to, to be part of the, one of the most famous stations in South Africa. And, um, yeah, we, we started with the clinics uh, last week, and... Um, we are very, uh, we're looking forward to, to the next days, next weeks, and um, yeah, we are really glad to be part of that uh, youth development program we started last week. Um, Finn, just to, to, to look at the program as a whole, um, how does it work? Um, by how does it work, I mean, is there a skills transfer? Is, you know, how, what are the nut bolts of, nuts and bolts of how it's supposed to work? Um, yeah. I think first of all, it's, um, we want to get a better understanding of the South Africa for the people, culture, the joy of football in the, in the country, and um, then we want to give uh, kids and coaches a chance to get involved in a program from a Bundesliga club and uh, maybe get some benefit from it. And um, yeah, the third, uh, third point or third goal is uh, that we want to show understanding and uh, our view of football, and um, of course, we want to show that I mean, Bielefeld is a great club. Finn, it's great to hear that you want to get a bit of understanding um, in South Africa, but I'm quite interested to know what can South Africans learn um, from you? You know, as I've already mentioned, our development is lacking. So where do you think we can better ourselves? And how can we learn more from European clubs? Um, yeah, we, we try to um, do um, two ways. Um, first of all, we want to coach the... the um, the young players um, from uh, yeah some some technical or tactical uh, themes or um, uh, topics um, which we uh, yeah, try to teach here in, in Germany and um, the second part is uh, that we want to get coached uh, involved with our philosophy of uh, playing soccer and our training philosophy and um, I think that uh, would be very interesting for for both sides and. Um, for us too, that because we can learn maybe something from, from the coaches from South Africa. You spoke a bit earlier about a benefit for your club. Um, I'm just curious, one of the big fears in South Africa now is that we do have obviously really talented kids that do get scouted in programs like this. But what then seems to happen afterwards is, um, you know, once they hit about 19, 20 and are available for our junior teams, they're already in, in the junior teams of the teams that, you know, scouted them, be it in Germany, be it in England, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, how do you allay, uh, how do you allay the fear that um, this is, you know, this, this is a talent sort of poaching exercise? <laughs> um, I can't understand everything you said, but... Um I thought you spoke about the, how we scout players there, and um, if it was, uh, this the project is about scouting, um, that is, um, it's, it's not only about scouting because uh, the kids are very young. We are uh, we work with in, in South Africa, and not the the, um, the reason why we do um, why we get connected to South Africa. Um, we will uh, transfer them to a data bank maybe for later, but uh, it, it's not. Uh, um, our first goal to scout uh, young players and um, of course if uh, they are talented older players in um, maybe the age of 18, 19 um, and we get the chance to get the player, we, we will try to because we have um, yeah, a, a good uh, um, yeah, through the former players we had in Bielefeld like Zibuzu Zuma, Ron Fernandez, Darren Buckley um, we have very good connections with uh, South Africa players already Finn, quickly before you go, we are running out of time. What is the ideal program to implement for youngsters? Pardon? Once again, please. What is the ideal um, program in terms of your clinics and your scouting to implement for youngsters? Um, yeah, our idea of the, um, for the next week in, in South Africa is we will have uh, clinics and coaches and training sessions, uh, uh, digital and Q&A sessions with uh, former players, with our coaches, 
um, three times a week. And um, so for the next uh, three weeks, I think. And, and then we'll, uh, we, we hope that we can um, can do it in the next months again. And uh, we hope that we can uh, travel to South Africa um, yeah, when, when we have no, uh, uh, after COVID, when the, when the borders get open. We definitely look forward to that too. All the best uh, for uh, the virtual program that you are running and hopefully we'll see you again soon after um, COVID-19. That is Finn Halsing chatting to us a bit about their coaching clinics as well as scouting. Now still to come on Sunday Sport, riding for a good cause. We chat with Warren Wilkinson about his fundraising for education. Stay with us.